If I am bound, my Father is not free. Thank you so much for joining with me for the lesson of 278. I will read the lesson and then we will move into a silent meditation. Go ahead, close your eyes. Take a big, deep breath. As you exhale, envision all the tension just melting in your body. As you inhale again, feel the breath come up through the base of your spine, all the way up through your body and out the top of your head. See it as a bright, bright, beautiful light exhaling through the top of your head. If I am bound, my father is not free. If I accept that I am prisoner within a body, in a world in which all things that seem to live appear to die, then is my father prisoner with me. And this do I believe when I maintain the laws the world obeys, I must obey. The frailties and the sins which I perceive are real and cannot be escaped. If I am bound in any way, I do not know my father nor myself, and I am lost to all reality. For truth is free, and what is bound is not a part of truth. Father, I ask for nothing but the truth. I have had many foolish thoughts about myself and my creation, and I have brought a dream of fear into my mind. Today I would not dream. I choose the way to you instead of madness and instead of fear. For truth is safe, and only love is sure. If I am bound, my father is not free.
If I am bound, my father is not free. This is commentary by Ken Wapnick, Ph.D., in Journey Through the Workbook of A Course in Miracles. If you or I are imprisoned, God must be two, for we are one. If I deny the unity of the sonship, I deny the reality of creation and thus deny the reality of God. Yet is this a distortion of the true oneness of Father and Son, for we are one in God's love and in the freedom of His will. As long as I identify with my body and this world, I am bound by its laws. Yet Jesus teaches that my experience deceives, for the body is not my reality. The curriculum of A Course in Miracles starts me out from where I believe I am, the body, and takes me to where I truly am in the dream, the dream of this world, which is the mind. I am not asked to deny the body's laws, but only to interpret them through the laws of forgiveness. Remember, being bound has nothing to do with the physical but only with the mind's decision for the ego. Truth cannot come to our awareness without first realizing we were mistaken. We therefore begin by recognizing our false beliefs. These foolish thoughts about ourselves and others relate to a body ruled by the laws of specialness. Someone wins, another loses. Someone gains, another is without. In our right mind, having realized we made mistake, we choose to follow the path of forgiveness's law. It is a law of the mind that nonetheless does not ask us to ignore the laws of the world or the body. Forgiveness simply asks us to place them in their proper perspective. The ego's laws are true within this dream but exist for us now only that we may learn our reality is outside of them. In truth, we remain as God created us, in freedom, in oneness, and in love. The truth of who we are, and this is me commenting, the truth of who we are is love and light and unity. We are not separate individual egos walking around this earth. If I am bound, my father is not free. I thank you so much for joining with me today. I hope you have a beautiful day and I will see you tomorrow. I love you. Bye-bye.